Hello and thank you for watching another one of my videos on tattoo removal creams. If you're not familiar with my videos, I am using this tattoo removal cream or tattoo fading cream called Boralene and I'm documenting the results as I work through a six month period of using this cream and whether it's effective or not. So if you're interested in tattoo removal creams or if you're just interested in tattoo removal, then check out my other videos. I have documented the first three months of my Boralene journey. This video, however, is not on the Boralene cream, but on a method that has been shown on various websites and various YouTube videos promoting this tattoo removal cream. And that is the use of Saran Wrap with this tattoo removal cream. So this video is probably going to be pretty short, but I just wanted to present the research that I collected on this topic so that you are better informed to begin your tattoo removal journey. So let's get into tattoo removal creams and saran wrap. I've titled this the ugly plastic truth. It's actually not ugly and it's not very exciting. So <laughs> uh, it is a collection of some brief research that I did and I hope that you are able to find something beneficial from it. Uh, if you do find this video helpful, of course, please give me a like and uh, subscribe and you will get more updates on my tattoo removal journey as well as some more information on this Boralene cream. So if you're not familiar with Boralene cream, this is a tattoo fading cream that, ha actually I have no idea how long this has been on the market. I stumbled upon a website that advertised this as a cheap and effective method. So I became curious and I bought some. And after documenting about a month into it, I decided to post this on YouTube because there are no other videos on YouTube other than annoying advertisements for this cream. Speaking of annoying videos, this is the original video that I saw where people are applying the Boralene cream and then wrapping it with Saran Wrap. So I had never heard of this before. Actually, I had never heard of this paired with tattoo removal creams. Of course, I have tattoos, so after my tattoos, the tattoo artist wrapped my tattoos in saran wrap. I remember asking him why he was doing that, and he said it was so that the ink wouldn't get on my clothes, and also to protect the skin because he put the um, triple antibiotic ointment on it. So he said it was keeping the ointment on there as well. So I was curious as to why tattoo removal creams are also applying this method of wrapping the tattoo with the tattoo removal cream uh, with saran wrap. But here are parts of the annoying video that show this method. Okay, that was annoying. But as you can see, they do use this uh, method of wrapping the tattoo in saran wrap. Now, why do they do this? The initial research that I did on saran wrap and tattoo removal creams, uh, it didn't bring up any results except this one. And this is from a dermatologist. And the dermatologist called this method occlusion therapy. But I do want to go back and point out that this dermatologist uses this type of therapy. I don't know if wrapping saran wrap can be called therapy, but this uh, method with skin conditions. So this has nothing to do with tattoo removal. This has nothing to do with tattoos at all. This has to do with skin conditions. So please keep that in mind as we go through this video. So what is occlusion therapy? Maybe you're familiar with occlusion therapy. I'm not, but when I first saw this word, occlusion, the first thing I thought of was eye. But when I Googled occlusion therapy, I found that it is blood flow restriction training. So it's basically like applying a tourniquet to a certain area to decrease blood flow. Now, I'm not a doctor. I don't know what this therapy is used for, but when I Google image, occlusion therapy, 
my initial thought of being connected with the eye was actually correct. Uh, I'm not going to show you the images on Google because it's all of children for some reason, but all of the pictures show children uh, with one of their eyes covered with a bandage. Now, I'm not going to go into what that is because that's not the point of this video, and I don't want to go too far off track, but I just want you to know that this name that this dermatologist used, occlusion therapy, was not really correct. The correct term is skin occlusion. So skin occlusion is using saran wrap to cover a certain area in order for that area to absorb medicine. So the idea behind this boiling cream being applied and then wrapped with saran wrap is that your skin will absorb the boiling faster and deeper than if you didn't apply saran wrap. Now, whether this is true or not has not been scientifically proven. So I have tried using the boiling cream and then wrapping my, my arm. Um, but whether this works or not, I really just depends on the person and whether you want to wrap your body up with saran wrap. I tried it and I don't like it uh, for a few reasons. Uh, I was really uncomfortable. One reason is because, well, the main reason why I didn't like it is because it didn't really absorb into my skin. Uh, any better than if I didn't put the saran wrap on. Now, this is my opinion. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not a dermatologist and I'm not a tattoo artist and I don't do this for a living. Uh, I just tried it and I don't like it. As you can see from the picture on the right, this is after wearing the saran wrap for a day. Uh, you can see here, the borelin is still visible. So to me, that means that the Boiling cream isn't absorbing into my skin. Now, if you can see also here, I'm sweating. The area was warm, but it was still covered with the boiling cream. Now, when I don't put the saran wrap on and I apply the boiling cream, I feel like the boiling cream is absorbing. Uh, after I massage it into my skin, I let it dry a little bit and then I continue massaging it into my skin until it's gone. And then I let it air dry for about a few minutes. When I touch my tattoos after that time, it's not sticky. So I've read other websites that say if you can touch your skin, if you apply lotion and you touch your skin and your skin isn't sticky, that means that the lotion was absorbed into the skin. So I take that as meaning that the boiling cream has absorbed into my skin uh, the best that it's going to. When I use the saran wrap, this is the result. I don't like it. It's uncomfortable. I don't feel like the boiling cream is absorbing into my skin. Maybe it is. I don't know. Uh, like I said, I'm not a medical professional. I'm not a skin doctor. So I don't really know. But what I do know is that several dermatology websites warned of using this method with ointments or creams that may be damaging to your skin in some way. So there are some skin ointments and lotions that aren't made to be absorbed deeply into the skin. Now I know the, <laughs> the whole point of the boiling cream is to get it so that it penetrates into your skin, deep into your skin, so that it attacks that, uh, the deeper levels of skin. Uh, that's holding onto the ink and then breaking it up and then allowing your body to uh, to get rid of it. But I'm just not convinced that it's working. Uh, it's not for me. Uh, my advice to you, if you're using the boiling cream or if you're thinking about using any tattoo removal or tattoo fading cream, is to try it and see how you feel. If you think it's working, if you're comfortable with the method, if you feel like your skin is absorbing the cream better with the saran wrap, then use the saran wrap. I'm not going to use the saran wrap for the reasons I already listed, but I just want you to know that there's no science behind this at all. 
So whether you want to use it or not is completely up to you. I know that's sort of an anticlimactic uh, conclusion to this video, but it's the best advice that I can give you after doing the research that I did. So that's pretty much it for this video. Uh, I hope that it was helpful, even though it was uh, didn't really come to any grand conclusion, but I do hope that it was helpful to some of you, at least knowing that someone has done it and thought about it and researched it and given you enough information to move forward with whatever decision you want to make. So my next video, I actually have a stockpile of these tattoo removal creams. I'll explain why I have a stockpile uh, in my next video, but I have a lot. I have more than enough actually for my six month journey. So I may be doing a giveaway uh, soon. So if you subscribe to this channel, uh, look out for a Borlean giveaway um, <laughs> coming up soon. Uh, I also have these other tattoo creams. Uh, you can see that they don't say Borlean, but they look like Borlean. Uh, and I addressed that in a previous video and I will address that in detail in my next video. So uh, be on the lookout for part three of my journey, which is going to be months four and five. And look out for my other video, which is going to be on these Borley creams, these for touch removal creams that look like Borley. Uh, that's all coming up soon. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you liked it, then please like it and subscribe. And I will be posting part three of my journey very, very soon. Thanks a lot.